This is my dad, Mark Christiansen. At the age of 16, he was boating with friends at Pine View Reservoir near Ogden, Utah. He dove in the lake, hit the bottom, and broke cervical vertebrae 3, 4, and 5. His spinal cord was torn, and his arms and legs were instantly paralyzed. Doctors expected him to die quickly, so they did nothing. He beat the odds and lived, so they operated and fused his spine. Doctors then told him he would likely die from complications within 10 years. That was the life expectancy for a quadriplegic in 1961. He beat the odds again and is now in his 53rd year living as a spinal cord injury quadriplegic. He hasn't been able to roll over in bed, feed himself, or wipe his own nose for over 53 years. I started thinking about how rare he must be, so I did some research. I was shocked when I found only nine other people in history who have survived over 50 years of quadriplegia. About 100 billion people have lived on the earth. That's an average of 1 in 10 billion. Neil Armstrong is one of 12 to walk on the moon. My dad is one of 10 to survive over 50 years as a quad. Barack Obama is one of 43 presidents. My dad is one of 10 50-year quads. LeBron James is one of 2,000 to win an NBA title. Michael Phelps is one of 6,000 to win Olympic gold. Steve Young is one of 7,000 to win a Super Bowl. Derek Jeter is one of 8,000 to win a World Series. Living over 50 years as a quadriplegic is more rare than winning a pro sports title, becoming president, or walking on the moon. I think it's also more difficult and more heroic. If you agree, please help my dad share his story and donate to his Kickstarter. Mark Christiansen, 1 in 10 billion.